Hello everyone and welcome to the 13th uh, part tutorial of how to model sentry gun. Sorry, I have to light a cigarette. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do right now is start uh, building up the front legs. Now, for this we will uh, create a polypipe. Okay, I'm gonna create a polypipe and straight away switch to move tool and bring it over here. Now, one more thing is if you have, uh, you know, those parts uh, separated from those, I mean by the layer, if you have this layer and you hide it and all of them are basically not uh, hiding, okay, so you can grab all the pieces that are not hided and right click on the layer and choose add to selected object, like this one, for instance, okay, so those are the parts that aren't parented to this layer, you're gonna select them right click on this layer and choose add selected objects this will make uh, those others to be assigned to this layer and you can hide them all at once now this is just for if you're creating a new poly pipe that was hiding right there so you can hide er all everything in the layer and just pull this out okay uh, easily so we're gonna create this poly pipe as I started to mention and you're gonna rotate this that way okay you're gonna create a copy of this okay just like uh, maybe it's better first to rotate it you know what let's rotate that like that and let's try to match this thing into this slot here okay so I will bring it here to here move it there try to position it correctly can use the four view of course laziness will make issues later on so I'm gonna push this like that so it will be inside this slot and I'm gonna move to the four view side view and try to match this also to the same size I guess so this size is okay, okay, it doesn't have to be exact same size, just so it can be inside and fit in some way. Also, try to match the holes so they will uh, be in front of each other. Oops, like that. Maybe like that. It's better. Okay, so now, perspective view, and see it's, it fits correctly there. We can bring this outside and here I will duplicate this thing and move it up the other copy just a little bit up okay like so yeah now see this is the half cut this this edge here this edge okay and this edge is like the half cut of it and I want you to skip one face okay and skip to this one basically to this one and here grab this one now when you choose this one and this one, double click on this one, it will select everything in the middle in between. I want you to extrude it and switch immediately to the move tool, bring it up and switch to the scale tool and flatten this uh, this faces like that. Okay, like so. You can bring it a little bit more up and press F8. Now let's delete this one and let's just copy this one and move it up maybe delete this one also before that kinda funny double click on this one and delete those and press F8 to bring it back to object mode duplicate this rotate it using the J key again so it will face down okay like that now if you want to attach them or whatever um, right now just choose both of them choose mesh combine right click choose vertices bring those vertices sorry with the scale tool next to each other and choose the merge option tool now right now it's set to 0 0.0400 you wanna click apply and try to merge them if they didn't work try to get them closer or I don't know just do whatever you need in order to adjust this correctly so it will merge them 
After that, we're gonna shift right click, choose insert edge loop. We're gonna add one edge loop to maintain this area and one edge loop to maintain this area. We still need to maintain those areas, so don't worry. Uh, just like that. One here, one here, and one here. Now you can do this to the other side, but now the butt is for something else, you will see in a second. I'm gonna grab these, I'm gonna grab these, and I want um I want this these and these and these and these here. Make sure you selected them both at the other side also. Okay. These when you want to add to, to selection, control and shift all both of them down and just mark the area of the desired vertices. So you will add to selection basically. Control alone is to exclude from selection. Okay, so uh, now what I want you to do is um, switch to four view, okay? That way you can see it better and to the side view and we want those to be at the same line as here. So we're gonna just bring them out a little bit. Oh, I need those two, sorry. So shift, select those. Oh, by the way, yeah, shift is also at the selection, but uh, it's a different way because when you have a area to mark, okay, and s like this here, like we have more than two points here, I don't know, like ten points here, and you want simply to add all of them to selection, but some of them are already selected, you want to add all those that are not, you can you just use the control shift in order to uh, not unselected those who are selected, but select those that already uh, that are not selected. Okay, so it's matched in some way. Okay, it's not. Yeah, like that. It's okay. Press F8 to bring it back to object mode. Let's switch here. And now, what I want you to do is grab this. Choose modify center pivot because the pivot is there. I'm gonna bring this back to the same position where it was. This is important, so try to use the side view and match it back to where it was. Okay, now the pivot, I want it to be correct um, here in the center of this um, ring, okay? So I press home or insert, depends on your operating system again. Home for Windows, uh, Mac users, insert for Windows users. Now, I'm putting this here, okay, because the yellow arrow is pointing straight on top of this one, is pointing to this one, and the blue arrow is pointing, should point to this one, so I need to bring this just a little bit up, so this is, this is exactly the center of this circle, press home or insert to switch back to move tool, we're gonna switch to rotate tool, no, first we're gonna match, we're gonna make sure that the, cen the center of the rings are the same position, like so. This time I'm relaying on the others, on the other circles that behind this object. And I'm gonna rotate it, holding down the J key and rotating it that way. Okay, now, right now, you're gonna right click choose vertices and we're gonna choose all the vertices including those in the middle, okay? All those and all those. You see now I'm using the control shift to add to selection Oops, and switch to selection tool so it won't select anything else. So you see I picked only the half cut together with the vertices in the middle here and this one and making sure that everything is selected here switch to move tool, double click on it and right now I'm on object mode and that's okay so I can you see this arrow is pointing there but also I can bring this all together over here you see and if it 
if it was on world, so it was pointing there and there, and you need the you know the direction of those axes to be to one of them to be in the same flow that the faces are going. So I'm, I just want to bring this hole here in front of this banana shape hole. So we will use to use the four view like that just to make sure it's really there like so and now I will select only those here okay only those so control shift to select only those and we'll push them back here to the middle somewhat in the middle press F8 to bring it back to object mode and this time we'll go choose face grab this face here okay again this is the these two are the middle right are the half cut of this uh, polypipe so we're skipping this face and choosing this face sorry and yeah this face okay and we're gonna extrude it once switch to move tool and bring it like so so we are stretching this leg and we're gonna flatten flatter flat this using the scale tool so this area will be flat and just a little bit back so it will really be flat now move tool and we want this part of the leg to peak just a little bit uh, outside this uh, shape okay something like so it's fine see so it peaks a little bit out like down and press F8 to bring it back to object mode shift right click choose insert edge loops we're gonna add a few edge loops one here one here and finally we can add those here okay these are just for the, the at the uh, it's le the last okay just had them as the last uh, the last ones also one thing I forgot is to choose right click choose those vertices here and choose shift select those vertices here and I'm gonna switch to scale tool now the scale tool is okay so we can basically come and just a little bit open up these to align to be aligned with this one okay maybe it's too much so let's do this easy that way okay yeah I think that's fine even if it's not uh, it's okay <laughs> okay um, now let's press 3 to see this object so it looks like that it's sharp all the edges are sharp and fine and we are good to continue the next step is to create a cylinder a cylinder maybe no we're gonna create a polypipe again we'll hide this layer so I can bring this one out and bring this in and I'm gonna choose this one and duplicate it okay and I'm gonna bring this uh, over let's change the move axis for the for this part so click double click on this move tool and switch to world and bring it here and rotate it on shift like like so okay holding down the J and rotate so now you wanna grab this one and rotate it that way bring it no yeah bring it here go to the attribute editor double click on this or click one once at this and change to poly pipe 9 this is number 9 I don't know so we're gonna uh, change the thickness value into something like 0 0.050 okay and I think that that's enough maybe more maybe 70 that's also good <coughs> okay <coughs> sorry so now I'm gonna rotate this and 
I want to stretch this so it will be at the same width as this one. Okay, so side view, sorry, side view, and I want to stretch it that way. And try to center this. <coughs> sorry. And bring it back to this view and scale this down like that. What is that? I don't know. Something weird is going on here. I want to change the width of this to the same width as the other side of this uh, bone of the leg. I don't know. So, like, no, not the side view, the, this view. Okay. So that's fine. And right now it should be like that so those in the middle are picking just a little bit out from the sides of this one okay <clears throat> so maybe even a little bit more okay sorry do it uniformly I think this is the word so like that and press F8 to bring it back to object mode it was object mode <laughs> never mind and I wonder what made it to change the scale here. So again, I have to do this that way. And now I can simply bring this down and right click choose face. I'm gonna get all half cut of this, the upper cut, and delete it. Switch to edge, get closer, double click on this edge, shift double click on this edge and extrude it, switch to move tool and extrude it that way. Okay, so it should be like so, but we will have to adjust this because I have no idea what is going on with uh, where it should be right now, so I'll go and bring it over here and I'm going to rotate it accordingly to this one. So, J, rotate, and bring this up. Bring it here. Change the move tool to object so it will be easier for us, like that. See? This is how it should be. And it should pick, like, you see, let's imagine that here it's still circle, so a little bit of flat area after the circle just like so okay here that's fine what we will do next is basically I'm gonna rotate it back to 90 degrees at least that way okay switch bring it back over here and I'm gonna right click, choose edge, let's grab this edge shift, right click no, control right click control, edge ring utilities to edge ring and split and this edge, control right click, edge ring utilities to edge ring and split you can also use the G key in order to repeat the same function, okay? or the Y key, I'm not sure so, this Right now we're gonna, maybe we will do this only for one side and copy this side, okay? So that's fine, we can cut half of it and continue. I'm gonna rotate it once again to that angle and switch to world, move axis, bring it over here. Let's just create a marked area that we know where is this should be so this is strange whatever message is appearing there okay so let's see we decided that this will be here right and change it to object push it maybe a little bit and we decided that this is the position so we will 
just create a edge loop mark in order to know that this is where it ends like so and we need one here and one here for the banana shape and here we will create the hole for this okay so let's choose this edge uh, double click on this edge actually shift right click and delete this edge okay that's fine so right click choose this edge right now and control right click edging utilities to edging and split so we have a split like that we will grab this one control right click edging utilities to edging and split and let's add two offset edge loops on top of this one like that it will be like so okay and gonna add two more edge loops here to secure these faces so we can extract them so right click choose vertices grab this vertex shift right click and choose chamfer vertex okay I'm gonna pull this uh, rotate this just so it will be straight and move it over here and right now choose this face and try to make it a cube you see like that so that's fine okay cube like that it's acceptable and we can go over edit mesh interactive split tool and add two edge loops sorry not not like that we really want to relay on this center so center it and click and right click to close this line it's not edge loop it's drawing edges so split tool and one here in the center of this edge and from this corner the one here so make sure that it begins from here and not from here okay for each one of them like that here you see the problem so I will have to undo whatever I did and start all over again it's not there maybe the snap magnet should be one it's much more easier for this to snap to one vertex point and not doing any things wrong this magnitude is very very important to work with uh, it helps so face let's grab this face and enlarge it to about so okay because the hole should be something like that okay now choose vertices and grab these four vertices and with the scale tool open them up so it will look like this now I don't know what the word for, the English word for this but um, we are we have a word that depends on the counting of how much of those we have okay so we have here eight and in Hebrew it's called metuman um, I don't know whatever so let's delete this let's delete the faces here inside delete this one delete this one and let's copy these okay so choose these faces edit mesh and duplicate face make sure again edit mesh keep faces together is checked and then do this duplicate face okay press F8 to bring it back to object mode three times we're gonna finally get rid of half cut of this so sorry right click choose face at the background and press F8 a few times so now we have two objects here you see white white wireframes and green wireframes means that there are two objects there control to unselect this one having this one and we're gonna choose modify center to pivot for it and simply rotate it to the other side and the reason for this is if you follow this tutorial and listen is because we have those uh, oh I have 
done something wrong. Okay, it's because the normals are pointing there. So if we will connect this, uh, connect this uh, as it was, it, the um, normals of these faces that currently se selected will point inside. So this is why I'm flipping it and I'm putting it here. But we do have a problem here, and I really don't know what's the reason for this. The should was uh, other faces here, I guess. So ah, okay, because the the faces here was open, so it didn't loop everything, and that's a problem. So we're gonna head two edge loops here, three actually. We're gonna select this edge, control right click, edge ring utilities to, ed to edge ring and split. We're gonna do this down here also, control right click, edge ring utilities to edge ring and split, and edit mesh, merge, no, offset edge loop tool. We're gonna relay on those, so like, let's take a look. Maybe I'll switch to four view in order to do this side view, this is the side view and we need click and hold and adjust it to those here you may want to zoom a little bit more okay that's fine and I'm gonna do this also to the upper part but I'm not, I don't know on uh, I did it on the same faces so I will undo that and maybe click no I can't I can't switch this at the same time so maybe I'll keep it open and look at both of them I can simply drag this one over here this one over here and work with both of them so now I can look at this here see click on this one and adjust this so through what I see down below okay like that perfect I'm gonna bring this up and this one up is same zoom in on those and click here up and watch down below what's going on in order to bring those at where they should be. Cool. I'm gonna right click choose edge, double click on this edge, mesh fill hole. I'm gonna connect them because there are those ones who are not connected. Turk no interactive split tool. Connect this one with this one and right click. Connect this one to this one and right click. Connect this one and this one and right click. Now, for the part that really concerns us is those two. Okay, there is an open area here, so you want to bridge them. You can bridge them, I think. See, like that. And grab these two edges. See those two? Up and down. And press G to repeat this. And now. <clears throat> we can simply come, select this one, press OM or insert to bring in the sorry the pivot adjustment tool. Oops, like that. Tr hold down the V key and snap it to this point here. Press home or insert again to snap out from this adjustment pivot tool and hold down the V, middle mouse wheel, and snap it to this vertex point here. So that's fine. Right now I wanna grab those two pieces, mesh, combine, rightly choose vertices, grab these vertices, nothing more than that. These two here, these two in the middle, but I'm pointing the camera down because I don't wanna select those at the same time to have some angle that it don't that doesn't catch also the other one at the other side so these two and 
corners, corners, corners. These two, these two. So finally, we have corners and middles. Those we will connect later. So first, static mesh and merge. Hopefully, they will be. They have been merged. Press F8 to bring it back to object mode. Let's add those interactive split tool edges. Right click. Whoa. Very weird stuff is going on here. Let me first check it. Okay, it should be in object mode. And I accidentally clicked on something and switched out from it. So this one is not doesn't want to be connected and this one also not sure what's going on with this press F8 let's press 3 to see this okay this is how it looks from this side this is how it looks from this side apparently I'm gonna select everything here everything here everything here and here and I'm gonna lower down the merge threshold because set setting and click apply so now maybe it will cooperate and maybe it's not audit mesh, interactive split tool I'm not sure what's causing this, but let me see. Let's delete this one. Let's delete this one. And what will happen if I will double click on this one? So it's selecting everything, so I can fill this all. And then right click, sorry. Double click on this one. Mesh fill hole. Press F8 to bring it back to object mode. Interactive split tool and now hopefully it will see sometimes my eyes just a little bit crazy but that's fine let's grab this edge and extrude it to this side with move tool like here press f8 to bring it back to object mode let's choose the inter sorry the merge vertex tool and merge those like so. Now you want to be aware that sometimes after extruding like this those faces here could be that the normals are pointing to other side okay so we're gonna check this display herbs normals and right now you can see that each one of them has line pointing out inside to the circle so let's just check it from the inside see you can also use the x-ray and if you see this little dot there so that's fine actually I don't see any dot oh yeah I see here so that's fine press F8 bring it back to object mode let's get rid of those normals and let's just copy this mm, maybe before that let's add edge loops so sorry shift right click insert edge loop one edge loop here should do this one edge loop there should do this and inside two edge loops this one and this one here and if you want to add center one in, uh, before you do the, those so do that press F8 let's create a copy of this control D switch to the channel box now this is the copy one that is selected so let's use the scale tool first modify center pivot scale tool his ear and we can stretch it now look at the values on the channel box you see the scale axe is moving when I'm stretching it to this area so 
this should be negative 1. Connect them. Sorry. Move them into place. Here. Let's change the pivot to be snapped to this corner here. One of those. Press home again and let's snap it to the other part. Press F8 to bring it back to object mode. Select both of them, mesh, combine. And it seems to me like it was a lot of work. So we're gonna stop here after merging those points. Click on 3. Something here hasn't been merged. Oh, yeah, it was my problem. I didn't look at this. So, like that. Now we can combine them. Right click vertices. Choose those vertices. Add it mesh. Merge. F8. 3 to see this. Okay, looks fine. And now for the tricky part is to adjust this uh, pivot here. So we're gonna switch to four view and this view. And let's choose modify center pivot first. So the pivot is here. We want this to be on the, the center of this circle. So home or insert scale uh, with minus and plus okay uh, on your keyboard at the right side of your keyboard you can scale the those okay the handles so now you can relay on them in order to place them correctly at the center at least the center of this uh, circle here sorry so the blue one is go to the left relaying on the left half cut you can zoom in maybe use the arrows can I use the arrows for this? no 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 don't do this home oh my god home again yeah I think I'm too pos too much for <laughs> you know for this so let's scale them down press home again bring it into place here rotate this okay the place is obviously not there sorry it's here at the middle now in this case you don't have something to relay on you just need to <laughs> You can relay on the between, like putting this green in between those two blue in order to set it cor correctly. So maybe that way it's okay. And here, maybe just a little bit down. And rotate this. If you rotate this and it fits, you know, on top of this one, so I guess it was, it's good. Okay, so press 3 just to have another look on this, and it fits, we can, sorry, we can bring this a little bit here, like so, we can also make sure, um, you see it's not the same size the circles, so maybe you want to do some tweaking here, but at least it's fine and you understand how to build it okay this is what this is all about I think okay the tweaking is more of your job which I can't really help you do this and also what I wanted more I had something in mind yeah I wanted to add two or two edge loops in each side of this thing here to maintain the sharpness here sorry Here, uh, this one should have been a little bit more closer. Here, because it's a very tiny uh, object, and you want to make sure that 
you bring these details out. Okay, these are already L, so yeah, it goes all the way, so that's fine. Okay, so thanks for watching. I know <laughs> I didn't expect this to be that long part, but um, never mind. Oh, by the way, two more edge loops. Here and there. Maybe here also. This part. Press 3 now. F8. Okay. That looks better. Much better. And okay, so we can finish this part of the tutorial. Thank you for watching. Hope it was helping. And see you at the next part. Bye.